All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So uh, I, I pretty much left things how they were from yesterday's stream. Uh, there's a lot of different things that I'm testing out and we're continuing to kind of mess with those today. Uh, this music in the background is actually one of them and I'm running it through voice attack in a ton of different ways. Um, it's Mass Effect themed, you know, because we're playing Elite Dangerous and I think that's fitting. Um, so, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Also, I have no idea if my voice actually works, because yesterday it didn't, even though it was telling me it was. So let me just check that really quick here. It was. Let me just check that. Great. We're good. I think we're, we're generally fine, then. We can make this work. Um, hopefully we don't have as many issues with NVIDIA broadcast as we were before. That was a big problem where it was, like, just slowing down the entire PC. Uh, give me one minute here. We're good. Oh, is, is the camera gonna work? <laughs> okay, we're good. We got it to work. All right, well, we'll see how long this works for because this is the whole problem is the, the virtual camera uh, that's, oh, that's weird, it looks odd. Anyways, the virtual camera that's here is the one that's causing all the issues with the PC and just like, you know, big CPU spikes um, that I have to just restart NVIDIA broadcast for and then everything works fine for like another 15 minutes. I don't know if that got fixed, because I didn't really do anything to address it, so it's probably going to happen and we'll just deal with it. Maybe we'll just switch to no camera, I don't know, whatever. We'll see how it goes for today. Uh, also, let me send one text here. We're expecting to get Chipotle. Sinister Berry's not feeling too well, so we'll get Chipotle delivered here. Make sure everything is good with that. Um, yeah, so we'll try out the stream, see how things go. Oh, yeah, so I did, I'll, I'll talk about, you'll, you'll see the rest of the voice attack things that I've done uh, later in the stream, just, you know, throughout things. Uh, I'll mess around with things a little bit. Um, what else did I want to say? I don't think anything too crazy has been going on. Uh, Odyssey is delayed a little bit on PC, I think we talked about that yesterday, which is fine. Um, give me more time to get things done properly. I mean, I'm pretty excited, obviously, for the alpha, just to mess around with things and to see how things work and to report bugs and, and you know, so on. I like that process, and it's, uh, it's fun. Um, alright, I'll just keep an eye on this, I guess. Put it over here. Where, where do I put my phone? There? I'll put it there. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's too much else going on. We're just chilling. We'll be doing this, uh, community goals today. A little bit more now that they actually put resource uh, hazard zones in the location. They actually put extraction sites here. Probably because there wasn't very much bounty hunting you could do in the system, so they, they realized that very quickly and said, alright, let's put some hazard zones in the system. So that was kind of nice of them to address pretty quickly because I played this morning and it wasn't there. And then like uh, two hours later it was, so they clearly addressed it this morning. Uh, at some point, just on a whim, they, they added a bunch of hazard zones, which is very, very kind of them to do, honestly. So we'll be playing in those hazard zones and just killing things and, and getting the bounty and then turning that in. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for today. Otherwise, we're just chilling, hanging out with chat, answering questions, helping people out as usual. Um, we might do a little bit of fighter gameplay today, maybe arenas, we'll see. Uh, I did want to do the Eagle build, but we might do that tomorrow or Sunday or tomorrow and Sunday, and just build, like, a small eagle for PvE and PvP conflict stuff. We'll see. I just wanted to do it for fun. Eagles are super cheap, and uh, it'll get me better with um, with flighting. You know, flying ships, especially fighters, which I enjoy doing. I especially like uh, flying fighters in VR. But we're not using VR today because, again, I'm still kind of messing with the stream. We're actually streaming in 1080p and 60 frames for the f uh, second time. Technically, yesterday was the first. Um, and so we're just kind of making sure things are good. And that said, I should probably have the uh, FPS counter up, which is at 50. That's odd. Why is that at 50? Usually that's not at 50. Usually that's at 60. Uh, but I don't see any issues as to why that might be less than 60. Uh, okay, well, maybe it's just in a station right now. Do I have everything I need? I don't have limpets, of course. Let's get those. Ah, uh, here. Alright, yeah, I'm watching.
watching the frame counter, we'll see how this works. Switch the uh, my mouse and the joystick. There we go. Landing gear. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. I think it's because the sun is behind that, uh, behind the planet. So we're seeing the eclipse, kind of. I mean, it is an eclipse, technically. It's just very bright in the corners. Very scenic looking. Alright, the closest one is... There's a high... But I don't want to go to that. I want to go to Hazardous. Okay, yeah, now we're at 60 frames. I guess just inside the station sometimes it isn't. I want to see how that is in VR and uh, how much I'm pushing VR, but we'll do that this weekend, I'm sure. Also, I'm playing on the Mobius PBE server, so we'll see if we'll see some people here in the combat zone uh, or just anywhere, right? Um, it's PBE, and it looks like I already did meet a bunch of people, so yeah, wait. That's a long time ago. I was only playing on the Sins just now. That's odd. Well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. Still waiting for the chipotle. Hold on. I'll be right back. Let me go give my phone over to Sims Strawberry. Alright. Hazard zones. We're gonna try to at least dodge from, from fight to fight and see how this works. Uh, until we run out of ammo, of course. Oh man, I'm just... Oh! There we go. I mean, I'm only here looking for wanted personnel, so I'll kill this guy real quick. This NPC right here. Oh, also, uh... I have a warrant scanner, so actually I can use that for a little bit extra money. I don't know how much in reality this matters, but... We're still gonna mess around with it, I guess. Why not? get used to just using voice commands more often too. When I'm in VR I won't be able to push all the buttons more easily or as easily since uh, you know I won't have easy um, sight of my keyboard. So I do want to start getting used to the voice commands. Uh, but anyways one of the things that I did is I made the music change depending on what you're doing. So I've done one so far and this is based off of what Malik had done. Um, Commander Malik on, on Twitch. Um, galaxy map. Nah, yeah, it's pretty good. I love it. It's so good. We have an actual galaxy map now. And the galaxy map music for it, too. For Mass Effect. Close. Oh, everything's laggy suddenly. Alright, see, this is the problem, is that the virtual camera just dies. All right, we're not going to use it today, honestly. If the camera's going to be causing that much issue, then we'll just ignore it.
Although, oddly enough, that only happened as soon as I put up the, uh, as soon as I, I went into the big star areas, right? So it was loading a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I wonder, I don't know, there's gotta be some NVIDIA card glitch issue that's happening that's causing that. I'm not gonna think about it too much, we'll just solve it over time. Other people have the same problem, so I know that I'm not alone in this boat. And the camera application uh, part of NVIDIA broadcast is in beta. They know that there's issues. I get it. It's fine. We'll just uh, we'll just suffer, <laughs> not use it as much. closer to the center of this zone before we start looking around. An elite mining, oh, elite mining ships. Wait, hold on. There's an eagle with them. Okay, no, they're just a part of it. It's all good. Wait, this guy has a, uh... No, this is also just a mining ship. Okay. All right, all right, all right. They're all mining. Fine. There we go. Uh, I want to scan him too with the warrant scanner. Yes, I know we're staring at each other. very much time to move around or anything, so that's good. Ooh, gunship. A deadly gunship, too. Alright. Uh, scan it. It is wanted. Okay. And we're going to try to target this power plant. Ugh, oh, missed it. Getting through these shields on this shouldn't be too bad. Ah, oh, unless he uses chaff all the time, then it's a problem. Oh, well, because he forced me to retarget him, now I have to retarget the, uh, the subsystem. That really sucks. Actually, that worked out in my favor. Um, until he used the chaff anyways. Okay. Just want to kill it. This was meant to be a tough enemy, so I guess that's fine. Okay, good. Something else is scanning me? Oh, this guy. Python. I'll scan him back. As soon as it lets me. I 
still don't know how much the Killworn scanner is actually making a difference. Like, I wish it gave me exact statistics for it, and how much more I'm actually gaining. Maybe it does, and I just have no idea. stuff from him. Let's see. Shielding sensors. Nah, I don't need any of this. It's fine. It's all fine too. Ooh. That. What is that? That looks like he's with mining people. Yep. Carefully looking out for... There we go. I think there's a fight. Nope. That's just the mining. One ship mining. Wait, is it? It's shooting at another ship. That can't be right. They're just beam lasers. There we go. Wait. What? I lost the selection thing. Wait, I'm under attack? Oh, I think I ran into his mine. Okay. Alright. Oh no, it has a chaff. Damn it. The main thing I want to do is, is break apart his shield as soon as I can. This is going to make it a little bit tougher to do. As soon as his shield is down, he's dead. For the lance, for the lance is massive shields. And we're good. So we just got beams. Such a fast ship. Required to use beams, or... Right? Well, whatever, it's an NPC ship, I guess. Still. And something else is shooting it. No, it's mine! I kill it. Oh, I got it. Okay, we're fine. He was good. Uh, ooh, okay. Here we go. Wing of three. I don't think I'm gonna bother scanning these. Uh, what else is in this wing? A Diamondback Scout... And another scout. Okay, so this is gonna be a tougher ship to kill. Um, yeah, I might not bother scanning. I'm just gonna get close and try to kill it really quick. God, I always miss it. There, power plant. What are they going for? They must be going for something specific. Shields are dead, good. Ooh. Some good hits in the heart, then. This one should be a lot easier to kill. 
Those are essentially fighters. Scouts. Aha. Uh -huh. What is this? Kind of mark three, okay. Oh, it's also in a wing of three. What's the main ship in this wing then? Because it's not this one. And it's not the other scout. Shit. Okay. What is this? Scout. Oh it is. It is a scout. That's so odd. Okay, fine. I guess we'll just kill it then. Okay, next one. Whoa! too much ammo because I'm gonna have to going back and I have to go back and get more of course. Which uh, I'm very limited in ammo in this ridiculous build. I should have used flight assist. Something else is getting. What is this? A deadly diamondback explorer. Okay. Uh, scanning. Should be good. Damn it, dude, everything is a chap, even fighters. Maybe I should have just stuck to uh, fixed weapons. Okay, okay. So it's gonna be worth a lot. And he's gonna have tons of really, really good equipment. Uh, but it's an explorer, so... It, you know, actually, this could be a little tougher than I think, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna make sure I do this right. He does have a railgun. That's gonna be a problem. And getting through his shields is tough, too. Railgun. It sounds like he had the tr double burst railgun or something as a as an experimental enhancement on him, but it doesn't matter because it's, oh, he's doing so much damage though. I'm taking a lot of damage for this. I do want to collect cargo scoop. I want to collect this stuff on the off chance that his elite things are worth more, but it looks like no, actually, they're not. 
They're not at all. Jeez. Okay. Fine. All right. Who's scanning me? This guy. Cobra. Oh, it's another uh, triple. Oh. Yep. With a deadly dropship. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can pick up. Well, I could pick up the dropship fast enough. Cargo scoop. But this isn't going to be easy. So. Uh, we'll scan him. Something else is shooting you. I think. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, ooh. Ah, damn, I thought it was gonna wait, I can. Power plant dead. Nice. So how much should I get so far from all of this? Uh, ooh, that is a lot of bounty. So these two other ones, which, um, this Marlinism Reformation Party, this must be what we're getting from the... This one and this one are we're both... Wait, this all counts. This is great. So the Kill Warrant Scanner is giving us these two as extras, I think. Um, where we're normally getting most of the bounty here, which is why we have three mil there. This is nice because all of this actually counts as part of the community goals this week, so I'm getting a lot more value just from the uh, from the kill scanner, kill warrant scanner. All right. Anyways, we can go back to this guy. This is, I think, the other fighter from that ship. You know what? Honestly. Just gonna scan him. Oh shit! It's got a frag. Okay. It's a frag cannon. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a frag cannon or ever noticed a frag cannon on, an, on any en like enemy ship or anything. Maybe that's how I should make my eagle, since I can get up very close to things quickly. Ooh, wait, hold on, I had something. Compute composites. Yeah, whatever. Let's just keep killing stuff. There's another one. Wait, this guy's at 1% health? Is that a player? It's not a player. A player would leave at 1% health. Okay. You might actually just be trying to leave at 1% health, right? Uh, see if we can catch him. He's deployed hardpoints. It's not a player. It would say commander if it was. And a different icon on the map. You could just ram him, honestly. Hi. Shields. Weapons. Everything's out of ammo. Okay, that's fine. For a 1% uh, kill, this shouldn't be a problem.
go turn this stuff in. Uh, this is much nicer for anybody who's just doing bounties here. And I'm really glad that they put in uh, resource uh, hazard zones here, resource sites here. Oh, finally. Finally. I got my, my streaming Twitch recap this morning. Now I finally got my, uh, my viewer recap. Let's see. What do I got? Most watched stuff. Oh, I'm not even surprised about this. Hearthstone at 300 hours, Warcraft 3 at 300 hours, or 200 hours, Grand Theft Auto 5 at 200 hours. Yep, I like the roleplay servers, these are pretty cool. This is great. Some 1300 chat messages. Mm -hmm, let's see. 570,000 channel points earned. That's it. That's, that's all that it gives you. Okay, well, whatever. Fine. Cool. Good to know. I like metrics and stats. It's uh, nice for them to just give out silly things like that. Even if it means, like, nothing in reality, you know? Yeah, all of this should count. Um, and uh, tier one is done, so now it should give us some information. Okay, so I'm. Oh, I uh, I think I was in top twenty five percent before. Now I'm in top fifty percent. Now everybody can actually farm here, so it's going to be a little bit tougher to stay in the top. Whatever, right? Um, what about this one for delivering? I got in top twenty five percent here too. Nope, drop back down to 50%. That's fine, though. I don't want to do these delivery missions as much. Um, although I did buy a Type 9 ship to do them. So now I can do them really, really well. Anyways, I really just want to be in top 75% by the time it's over, because I want to get the, um, the modules. The... the Supposedly double modded, double experimental modded modules. What? The station's actually attacking something. What happened? Request. Reset pips. Landing gear. Nice. All right. Actually, I'm getting a lot better at landing. Cool. Okay. Let's take a look and, and see if this is actually going to count. All right. This is it. We have 3.3 .3 right now. 3.3 mil. Uh, if we turn in the two small ones, it should be four something mil. 4.1 mil, I believe. Uh, if it goes up at all, then we know one of them counted. So, just kind of make sure. Uh, 
Wait. <laughs> so those don't count either? So the only one that counts is from the Marlinist colonists? Mm, that doesn't seem right. Free Marlinists of Karine. Let's see. Did that one count? Yeah, that one counted. Okay, I guess that's the only one that matters then. Hmm. I literally doubled my credits in one go, as opposed to just like hunting stuff down and trying my best to get whatever scraps I could get. This is way better. This is actually more of an income and it's actually worth it. Oh no! Damn it! I didn't want to do that. I wanted to push down to go to the store point thing. Because it puts you to the launch. Um, damn it. I wanted to check if there was any missions. Um, there wouldn't be, though, right? If, if there were any missions, they could tell you to go to a different system. They wouldn't make missions in this system. But let's, let's just see, just to make sure. Oh, there's another player in here. There's two players in here. Cool. We have other people. People actually go to this private group. That's so cool. I mean, it's a PvE private group, but still. Very awesome. So we need things in this system, the system that we're in. Um, oh, right, okay, these ones. No, no, never mind, they're not to kill anything, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'd have to go to a different system out of here that wants us to go to this system and kill stuff, which uh, I don't want to do. So it's just going to take too much time, so back to the rest sites. Killing like a pirate or something. Let's see. It is. They are killing a wanted player, uh, a wanted NPC, with a high wake. So he's out in a different system now. Okay. I could check out the um, the red site that's right next to us here. Uh, this one. I mean, it's right here, so... Oh, oh, don't want to accidentally hit it. All right, hold on. Uh, it's a high one. It's not a... It's not like a, a hazardous zone, but let's, let's check it out anyways. It's very close to the station. I think it's worth checking out. Okay, good. Scout. Okay, these are good. I have to make sure that I don't accidentally kill any players now. I have to keep an eye out for that. Little fighters. That's the. That's what I want to make my next ship. 
my next PvP or PvE ship into an eagle. And then I want to kill really, really, uh, really, really large targets with it. I get very, very good at flying, making sure that I'm right behind the target at all times. It's going to be a challenge. I'll try to do that this weekend. Damn it, it's got so many chaffs. <sighs> I have to wait for that to be over again. What is that? Asp Scout? That shouldn't be a combat ship. Let's look around really quick. Alright, these ones are mining. These ones next to it should just be, like, escorts. Yep. So those are the only two on radar right now. Doesn't look like there's any fighting happening. Uh... Night vision. something over here. This is the scout from earlier. But it's dangerous? No, it's not wanted, though. Is there something up there? That is a material. Okay. Well, it started pretty well for this high sight. Alright, there's definitely combat right there. I think it's just... they just killed something. Alright, Federal Gunship... 80... 69%, nice. And it's clean, so these ones must be... Oh, jeez, they're freaking shooting limpets at it, okay. Uh, let's scan this guy. Yep. Wing of two. Three, okay.
damage my chaff so that the two fighters aren't going to do as much damage. Shields are dead. Okay, good. Two of the ships are actually uh, able to constantly shoot me. Not a problem. But it does make me want to get a fighter, like an actual proper fitted fighter. The song is from Mass Effect? God damn it. Okay. It's a fighter with a chaff. Fine. It's fine. They don't last as long. A couple seconds less than normal. Target. What do we got? Oh, there's more fighting right over there. Did I miss it? Weapons. Shields. This is a courier, so what are the two? Eagle and Eagle. Okay. Um, I could try to kill the Eagles really quickly. Instead of immediately going for the main ship. Let's try it. Let's see how much faster this is. Okay. Now we can go for the courier. The other fighter hasn't attacked me yet. So I don't know where it is. It's not a quick select option. got a shield booster, a shield cell, so he's going to be recovering shields. Um, I think. Maybe not. Something else is shooting him. Oh, we've got authorities. System authorities are here. Alright, where did his fighter go? Oh, here it is. Oh! Elite Eagle. Okay, hold on. It's not his fighter, but it is wanted. And again, this could be worth quite a bit. At least more than our regular Eagle would, since it's Elite. Highest level of difficulty. It's gonna have kitted out uh, stuff. High quality things. This is like the Eagle that I'm gonna build. Is this. But I'm gonna have it way better than whatever this is. And fly it way better too. Um. Wait, is it? Is it 0%? But I didn't hear it blow up. Okay, now it's dead. Somebody else hit it. Alright, everything else is system authorities here. Uh, let me scan this just for the sake of it. Okay, this is clean, yeah. Oh, there's combat. Engines. Hmm. 
Weapons. Shields. Oh, shit. I might be able to back some. Alright, what is this worth so far? One okay. Side winter? This has to be in a wing with someone. Yep. Uh, no, it's not. Oh. It's just, it's a side winter that's mining, okay. Alright, that's weird. There we go, this looks like a, yep, a wing of three. Let's scan each other. And uh, it's a couple of eagles with it, so I'm just going to kill it. Something else is getting into. Come on, twelve percent. Now it pops a chat. Okay. One percent. One of these bullets have to hit, right? Or not. Or none of them hit. There we go. than I thought. Anna's trying to leave. Okay, good. I need to turn, up the, or turn down the game a little bit. Uh, let's go with that. Alright, much better. Oh, there we go. Imperial Eagle. Where is this? Behind me. I mean, he is trying to scan me. He just has to slow down to do it. It's in the wing of two. Engines. Weapons. Shields. Eric Holmes. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. We're hanging out just doing community uh, goal stuff, so we're in the rest site just nearby the station. Which, uh, as a... For a high... Honestly, for a... Uh, a high difficulty resource site. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, there's a lot of action here. Normally, I just stick to hazard, like the you know, the tougher storms, the hazardous sites. Um, I guess one left. That's fine. But this is just really close to the station, and it has a lot of action. Um, and I've seen elite ships too, so I, I don't know. I, I guess hazardous sites are still supposed to be the toughest ones, but this has been just fine. I don't have time to scan this guy. Did they add rest sites? They did, literally, like, this morning. Like, I, I, I got my breakfast, 
I logged off, I came back like an hour later, and there were res sites. And everybody was, you know, like screaming in chat, yay, finally! <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny. We're all thinking the same thing. Yesterday I got three mil um, in bounty, you know, collected from just like using frameshift interdictor on everything that I can find in the system. And uh, I don't think I'm going to scan this. I'll try. Um, and that took like an hour. <laughs> it totally wasn't worth it. Um, and I was in top 20%, top 25% on the weekly goal just doing that. You're kind of sitting at station. Yeah, you're all set now. It's good thing you waited. You didn't have to, you know, fly around trying to grab bounties like, uh, like I did. Way more fun than a rest site. Granted, I still don't understand the kill warrant scanner because, um, I mean, obviously I'm getting the extra... It's a little bit loud still, right? I feel like it is. Anyways, obviously I'm getting the extra credits from it, but those... Those extra credits, so these two, do not count towards the community goals. Only this one does, from the free Marlinists of Karuna. Um, I don't actually... I, I get it. Like, I understand how it works, to be honest. So maybe I shouldn't have started off by saying I don't get it. But um, I'm just surprised that only one of the factions counts towards the community goals. It should have, like, said that somewhere. But yeah, it increases the payout for everything, right? It increases payout for anything in the system, essentially. So everything gives you a little bit more. So while I mostly got a payout for this particular faction, the other two gave me a little bit as well. So I mean, that's okay. It's worth it, right? I think it should be worth it. There wants another systems, but not here. These two actually are in the system. So surprisingly enough, it's giving me bounties from, uh, um, from local minor factions. Uh, but I just listened it earlier and they didn't actually give me any additional uh, rewards for the community goals, which is fine. It's not a big deal. I just was a little bit surprised by that as well. I thought everything would count, but I guess not. Just the one particular minor faction. And just to make sure, make sure that I'm, I'm not an idiot. Uh, Marlinism Reformation Party is in the system, right? Yes, it is. So, yeah, this one didn't count, and the, uh, the third one didn't count either. Yeah, this one's in the system as well. So, there you go. The more you know. Oh, there's a controlling faction. So it is just the controlling faction then that'll give you the rewards, eh? Yep. I get it now. I guess, um, that makes sense. It makes sense, I just didn't think about it, right? I did, didn't register it to me that that was a thing. Engines? Weapons? Probably scanning me too, so this is fine. I want to bring my crate here. Um, and just have people in fighters and do that, because that's a lot of fun. The problem is that my crate has a fine on it, so it costs 3 mil to bring it over instead of, like, 600k or something. I mean, whatever, money's not a big deal. So I guess I should do that because it's fun, right? And I can give entertainment to other people who want to fly in fighters, specifically because I have the, um, the very weak and fragile guardian fighters that everybody loves to fly, uh, assuming that you like to die constantly to AI uh, with rail guns. Uh, but I, I don't know, I like flying those fighters, so I, I try to give that experience to other people when I can, too. But I particularly like flying in, in fighters because I have, like, a flight stick, and I like to do it in VR. Uh, this is a Fertilance that I'm flying right now. Shield. And it's it's just my, like, super PvE setup Fertilance with everything as a multi-cannon. Um, and it's just fun to just shoot stuff, you know? I haven't been... I, I kind of started a PvE build, or a PvP build, that's a bit more serious, but I need to put a lot more work into it. Um, I just love flying the Fertilance, though. I like flying anything that is really, really fast, right? Um, this is obviously a very fast ship. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to outfit an Eagle for PvP, or PvE to start, anyways. And uh, I want to try to use that seriously to, like, kill pythons and anacondas and such. So I have to become a very good pilot to make that work. Thankfully, the rebuy cost on an eagle is, you know, pretty small, so uh, I'll be able to fail a lot as I try to get, it, uh, try to become a better pilot. I think that'll be worth it. As soon as I can kill an anaconda in an eagle, I'll be really happy. I'll say that I have successfully um, 
become the pilot that I was looking to become. Anacons are easy to kill in small and nimble ships. I haven't done it yet, so I wouldn't know. But I hope that if, if those are easy, then I have to come up with something harder. I guess a gunship, maybe? Yeah, stay behind their engines, exactly. You can already pretty much do that in uh, Fertilands. If it if that's too easy, then all right, what's, what's another one? A gunship? A federal gunship? Um, type 10, maybe? Something that will always be able to hit you, you know, if you make any mistakes. All right, these are not enemies. I have to find a good challenge. A Corvette. If you make any mistake in an eagle trying to fight a Corvette, you're doomed. A Sidewinter. Oh, Master Sidewinter. Maybe I should just build a Sidewinter. By no means does that make any sense. The eagle's just better. But it would be funny, right? I'm gonna waste my bullets, I'm already almost out. Uh, what is this? This is a scout, it's usually part of a wing. It is part of a wing, so where is the other guy? Is this it? Probably. This is also a scout, though. Okay, but it is a part of that wing. Hmm. going for me. Something else is shooting it too, I think. Yep. The local authorities are helping, of course. I mean, I'm to myself. I mean, I'll still get the full reward, but, you know. I'm gonna need help with this thing. And it kind of a similar setup. Overcharged multi-cannons, corrosive shell, yep, that's what my huge one is. Uh, incendiary rounds, two railguns. I want to play with railguns more, uh, with long range, but it's hard to use them because they're kind of, kind of slow. Other ships are very agile, and usually just spam the multi cannons. Um, I don't know. Is there any merit to having just an anaconda with a bunch of railguns, and you just sit outside of range and kill something before it even gets to you? Can you kill things that fast with like really powerful and and you know experimental railguns that are fully fully kitted out? I assume you could, but you probably want a friend to at least put like corrosive shell on the target or something. Like I would love to make a sniper ship. That's what I always had in Eve Online years and years and years and years ago. Uh, I liked fighting as a sniper. Right, really long range, stay out of range, etc. Um, so it's a goal of mine to build a sniper ship here too. But um, the only thing I can think of is use railguns. Logan's of limited ammo. Right, yep. That, well, yeah. You are kind of limited, right? Um, but there is an alternative to railguns, right? There's the Guardian one. I think the Guardian one has... Um, I don't think it uses ammo. I think it just is energy. Oh, Plasma Slug that uses fuel instead of ammo, but it is reduced damage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to do that. I'd rather just have less... I'd rather just have limited ammo, honestly. And keep going back and forth. Like, I have PvE ships, right? I would just use a PvE ship for PvE, like this. Wait, something else is attacking me? Oh, right. I didn't realize it's in the lane. Oh, this is an eagle. Um, I think, yeah, the Guardian Railgun has... I, I think it doesn't have ammo. Uh, I'm not totally sure, but like, I don't know. I wouldn't use the Guardian Railgun, really. Would I? Um, I have it. I mean, I could. I could do that. I just don't think it's worth it. I'd rather just have, like, the regular Railguns, at least until I can come up with a better build. Just for fun, you know? Good old Railgun build. Nope, oh, 
inside of ammo now. Except for the huge, most important weapon. But again, the rest site is so close to the actual uh, station, I could just leave and come back really quickly. Which I'll do right now. Retract hard points. Mass locked. Engines. Yeah, go for it. It's really easy to do. The only problem is that there's no... I couldn't find any missions to, to actually be here and kill stuff here. So you don't get the mission bonuses as well for doing those at the same time. Now, if this was a conflict zone... Uh, sadly, it is not a conflict zone. Alright, there we go. So, we made about the same amount here, 3 mil. We got a fourth faction now. This one's not in the system for sure. Yep. But it doesn't matter, because the only one that counts, obviously, is that first one. But yeah, the multi cannon build is fine. I think it's. It, it's. It's just. It's too easy. Like, to me, it's too easy. Um, but I'll still use it just for farming stuff. I'm coming up with, like, other builds and other ways that I want to actually enjoy the game and do silly things. Um, making a proper eagle is going to be a lot of fun, I think. And again, just because in VR it's really fun with the joystick, like, flying fighters is the most fun thing. Request? Flying fighters is so much fun. Like, I actually really do enjoy the uh, CQC arena quite a bit. It's hard to find people, obviously, not too many people go into it because there's no actual monetary value. Landing gear. There's no monetary value, obviously, to the CQC arena, but it is a lot of fun. Wow, people are spamming chat. Wow. Very mature. That guy doesn't represent the community. Most people I've seen in this community have been very upstanding citizens. Okay, what am I doing? Not this. Not this either. Contacts. Top 50% for stuff. Hey, and back to top 25%. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, look how much... Oh my god, as soon as the red site came in, look how quickly we're getting up to tier 2. So fast. Uh, we were like down here this morning, halfway to tier 1. Last night it was just like nothing. Uh, it's not surprising at all. Have I done the, uh, the Malami, Malami runs in the past? No, I haven't, no. I haven't done any of those like really easy ways to, to get... Um, to get credits or to get faction uh, rank or anything. I've just been kind of doing things as I want to, you know, setting my own goals, and I'll get everything over time. I'd like a fleet carrier. I don't know what I would use it for, so I'm not really rushing towards things, right? I'm not rushing towards getting a Corvette, especially because I like fighting in fighters anyways, and really nimble ships. I enjoy that the most. Um, I am going to bring, however, my crate here. Yeah, there's a bit of a fee on it, but I don't care. I want to give people some fun with the fighters. We'll be here in an hour. Whatever. I don't need it right now. Um, so yeah, like I know about all these different runs. Uh, I actually, I, all the time I can hear people kind of say, hey, um, like, I don't know, there's a lot of people like within the guild or my friends who play that are like, oh man, I'm really stressing out about this particular run, or whatever, or trying to figure out how to make money. Holy shit. Hi. That's a player. <laughs> uh, that's another player. Landing gear. I'm not speeding. Stop it. Alright, we're good. Fine. Everything's good. 
That's so cool. Dude, I, I haven't actually, like, I don't play very much in open because I don't want to get ganked if I'm in a place like this. Uh, but I did join the Mobius PvE group, and uh, just seeing other people again is nice. We don't have to worry about getting ganked. I do like interacting with people, it is fun. Um, I'm okay with getting ganked too, like I'll go to open. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, I gotta pay attention a little bit more. Um, but it's nice to see other people just, you know, around doing stuff as well. Okay, now we're looking for that red site again. This one. This over here. Oh yeah, check your RNG as well, Eric, while you're here. There's literally no meaning to doing that. But, uh, you know, whatever. See what your RNG is for the day. Just type exclamation mark RNG in the chat. Do it once a day. Actually, I didn't do mine, so. How lucky am I? Hey, 75% chance, all right, of, of just good RNG. That's the highest I've gotten on my channel. Uh, CG systems are very likely. Yeah, absolutely. Or vi lively, yeah, absolutely, yeah. For sure, what's RNG? Oh, random, random number generator. It's, um, like a essentially the meme thing for uh, how how lucky are you gonna be today? There you go, ninety seven percent. Jeez, everybody's luckier than I am. Anybody that comes to the channel, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's just a silly thing that I added to the channel because why not? I've been trying to add just silly little things that people can mess around with on the channel. Anybody that just stops by can do that, or can push one of the channel point buttons to to cause the the stream to have like a border for 10 seconds or whatever toys i'm adding toys right it's the whole point it's just to do silly things and enjoy yourself they don't mean anything it's just for fun Engines. Weapons. Damn. I thought there was going to be enough time. That's fine. Hey, okay. Easy. No problem. missile ship too, but I just, I don't like missiles. I feel like missiles in general are really under, um, I don't know, under, like, they're just, they're not as powerful as they could be. Like, if you get through somebody's shields, the missiles are good. Um, I guess. I mean, that's the point, right? Oh, wait, there are missiles you can use to penetrate through shields, right? Something like that? There's, like, experimental missiles you could do for that, but then you're also stuck using ammunition, uh, you know, because you have to actually have ammo for the missiles. I don't know, it just doesn't feel worth it. Missiles are cool, but just don't feel worth it. An elite side winter. Okay. It's not a player. I have to actually keep in mind, because I don't, I don't want to accidentally kill some player. Real guns can penetrate shields too. Yep, well that's the whole thing, is you can actually target down uh, like the power generator or something. If you're uh, really, really keeping an eye on everything, you can go for a specific uh, part of the ship. Right? Which I think is awesome, and I really want to do that. But yeah, exactly, like, I'd rather make a railgun ship than a missile ship. Like, railguns seem way more fun to me. What is... wait, hold on. What is this shooting? What is it shooting at everything? What was that? Do that again. Did it shoot a prospecting uh, drone? Prospector them Oh, what is that? There it is. 
Oh, it's a collector. Oh my god. It's shooting collector one thing at a time. Okay, well there's an NPC for you. Usually use them to engage with enemies that are 9-10 kilometers away. It can reach that far? The enemies come running while his shields go down because of the railguns. And NPCs aren't very clever. Yep. I didn't realize they go that far with the longer range uh, mods. 9 to 10 kilometers. Your scanner has to be that good too. That's really cool actually. Ah, oh, now I really want to make a railgun ship. But I gotta do the eagle one first. Definitely want to make the eagle ship first. That's awesome. That's actually really, really cool. If there was only a way you can actually kill somebody in that time, instead of letting them get close to you. I mean, I'm sure you can. Just depends on the enemy, right? If you can shut down a particular system, like the drives or something, then they're screwed. Shields. Weapons. Shields. Press down. Press up. This will put me at a near stop. Uh, wasn't able to kill him in time. Thought I would have a little bit more time. And bam! Wait, something else is hitting me. Oh, it was in a wing of three. I didn't even notice that. Max sensors too, but the enemies are kind of a uh, dot uh, when they're that far. Oh, they're just a dot, yeah. So the railguns don't have any auto aim whatsoever, right? Like at all. Like e like not even like a slight, slight assist when you get like just over the target. Um, or is there? I don't know. I have no idea. I've used a railgun like once on a very, very old ship. Uh, I don't remember how that was. Because if there's even a, sh a little bit of auto-aim, like right when your your cursor is just over the target, it'll it'll finish it for you. Uh, then I think that's worth it. They're fixed. You know, I, I get that, but like... Like, you know, in CQC Arena, everything is fixed, right? But there's still a little bit of auto-aim. Um, and I, I, I don't know, I wonder if that translates to some other weapons in the actual game, not just the arena. So, like... Yeah, I, I guess maybe not, right? The arena's meant to be that way on purpose. But I know they're fixed, yeah. It's just, even fixed weapons in, like, the arena at least have a slight auto-aim, uh, where they'll lock onto the target. But, you know, actually, beams, I think, are the same way. I think just regular beams are, too, where, like, they're fixed, right? Beams are fixed, or beams that are fixed will have just a very slight auto-lock or something uh, when you're close enough to your enemy, right? They're hard to use because they need to charge first. They're not instants, like lasers, you need good timing. What about the, um, there's an experimental mod for the railgun that gives you like an extra, um, uh, not maximized ammo, but uh, just an extra actual like slug, right? Oh, I think you mentioned that though. I think you mentioned that you have that experimental uh, effect for the extra slug, right? You know what I mean, right? I think you know what I mean. I guess even with that, yeah. Yo, you haven't tried it. Yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. Right? Um, you, yeah, no, I want to mess around with that. I really do. Because I really, I don't know, like I said, I my background of playing these games in like, you know, in, in space games in general is sniping ships, right? Killing things from really, really far away. I just really enjoy that. It's not because I don't like fighting the enemy and, you know, obviously I've proven otherwise I like these really fast fights, but just something about shooting something from extremely far away is really, really cool to me. Um, and I want to achieve that in this game too. I gotta find a good way to do it. It's gonna require a lot of practice, especially if there really is, like, if they're perfectly fixed weapons, then I have to be absolutely precise if it's not even going to give me any kind of uh, auto-aim, even in the slightest. Alright, there's no enemies now. Let's go back to here. In this direction. Oh, you've got the long-range plasma slug. It uses fuel instead of ammo. Alright, okay, yes. So that is a different one. Sorry, my bad. You're right. Thanks for reminding me. 
Yeah, he uses the so circle. Fire in time. That's really good, obviously, because you can sit in these kind of things and constantly fire it, right? So for, like, a PvE build, that's really good. I think most things, anyways, in general, are focused on PvE builds, regardless. Um, which is fine. That's how it should be. Right? Most of the things we do for money is PvE. It's not going to be PvP, so... God, I can't wait for the Odyssey stuff, though, huh? Yeah. Slightly delayed for the PC, but it's fine, it's fine. Let them get it done. I hope the efforts they're putting in, uh, you know, into Odyssey really make it into something special. And I do hope they add more, like, ships and stuff. I guess they're kind of hinting that they're going to be adding more ships with Odyssey. With this whole, um... What is it? Uh... Lacon got bought out. I don't remember the, all the specifics. I'm too new to the game to remember everything. But um, they're kind of hinting at some kind of ship changes. Um, so I guess we'll see. I hope they add, like, I want more ship content too, obviously, right? Like, people play Elite for the ship stuff. They don't play for the FPS uh, portions, um, which is fully fine. I think it's absolutely how it should be. <laughs> right, this is just an extra thing. You hope your poor PC can run it. I hope so too, um, and it's actually it's a good point because a lot of people play elite because you don't need as crazy ship spec or ship specs, <laughs> PC specs, right? Because you're in space, there's not as much stuff to render. So um, I hope so. I really hope that everybody gets to just enjoy it and, and not have too many complaints. But bugs do tend to happen. There's going to be optimization issues. Realistically, we're going to see some problems. Um, and not everybody, you know, not everybody's as slicky as I am. Uh, I have a 3080 that I just got recently, so I'm very happy about that. Um, and I'm very thankful, which is really cool, that I get to play with a 3080 in VR. It looks awesome. Um, but, you know, without that anyways, the game just is amazing, so... Because you don't need that kind of crazy tech for the game. You, you can just run it with with a toaster, right? And low graphics, and it's all good. FPS might be a little different. It has to render all the stuff going on. I mean, it's... Any first-person shooter requires a little bit more power, right? I think any of these... You know, like, even EVE or... or um, okay, that's not true. What am I saying? Any space game does not require just the simplest tech, because there's this little game called Star Citizen that's in the making. And you need, literally, a supercomputer to run that thing. And I know, because <laughs> I've played that quite a bit, and uh, while I'm not a super big fan about their development process and such, uh, I do wish them the best, of course. And uh, you do need a supercomputer to run that, even though it is space game, so there you go. Never mind. Um, not every space game is easy to run. Let's try to scan this one. If you're interested in the PvP with guns, usually play Valorant. I don't know if you ever... Absolutely, I've heard of Valorant, yeah. I don't think it's going to be quite like Valorant, <laughs> but, um, so I, I, I am hoping in, well, no, Valorant's really quick, too. Valorant is literally COD, uh, or Call of Duty, or Call of Duty. Yeah, I mean, it's literally, it's, it's, it's a game with very, very fast kill timers, right? Like, uh, the time to kill is very, very low, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, which is fine, I, it's nothing bad with that at all. Uh, personally, I am used to games that are first-person shooters or third-person shooters with a very high time to kill. And um, there's not very many games like that. I hope Odyssey becomes like that. Uh, where, it, you know, fights are a little bit slower. You're able to come up with what you're going to do. You have to actually focus fire. If you're with your friends, all of you have to be focusing on specific targets. Slower, um... No, I agree, yeah. Call of Duty is definitely faster. Um, yeah, Valorant is just cool because, you know, you get the different abilities that let you kind of change the outcome of different situations. I, I think it's great. It's an awesome game. Uh, I have not played it myself at all, but I've watched quite a bit of uh, Valorant. Um, and it's fun. It's, it's cool. But anyway, so I am used to the slower time to kill. I, personally, I really want to see that. I want to see a slower time to kill in the Odyssey gameplay with, like, shields and, and so on, right? Like, Halo is kind of reminiscent of that, right? Where you have shields and stuff, and the time to kill in Halo is a little bit higher. 
but even higher than that. That's what I'm hoping for. Because um, that would kind of... That would tailor, I think, to the elite gameplay. Because the elite gameplay is time to kill is pretty high. And if they translate that into round gameplay, I think that'd be pretty cool. But I guess we'll have to see what they end up doing. I think Odyssey will be like that. You'll have shields, so you don't die from a single bullet, I guess. Yeah, but like Halo also, you know, all the Halo games, you can still die pretty quickly, right? The shields are there. The time to kill is a little bit higher. Um, I do like that. Let me put it into perspective. Um, because not many, very many people know uh, this this um, example that I have for high time to kill. So I used to actually play and even uh, program for a develop for a game that is now gone. It's an MMO that used to exist known as Face of Mankind. And in Face of Mankind, uh, it had an absolutely incredible combat system in that you'd have in an MMO, you know, a hundred people or so in one area fighting each other and the time to kill in that game is enormous. It is insane. And the reason for that is because not only do you have a health pool and armor and, and so on, um, but you can also just be running buffs and healing pots and stuff at the same time. So there's a lot in that game. And so I'm used to the, such a high time to kill that everybody in the raid or everybody in the group has to be aiming at the very same target Otherwise, that guy's just not gonna die, like, at all. Um, and I really enjoyed that personally, and I got used to, you know, having to headshot all the time. You have to headshot. Like, that's that's just plain and simple. That's how you kill people, you know? I'm very used to that. You know, going into a fight and actually winning in a 1v3 where I'm alone fighting three other people using the bodies of the other people um, to block their own bullets, right? And to, to shield myself. Um, it, it was essentially what's known as a, a face of mankind dance or a fom dance where you all just kind of dance around each other uh, trying to soak up bullets on the enemies you know and, and stuff like that it, it's I'm reminiscing of course about a very very old game that doesn't exist anymore but I miss it and I miss that kind of combat and it's something that I think uh, could be done in a really really fun way I don't think Odyssey is going to be quite like that at all. I think it's going to be more like Halo, but I do miss that. So personally, I hope that that's what it's going to be like. I know that realistically, it's probably not going to be that way. Um, time to Kill is still going to be just probably around what, what Halo is, I would think. But I guess we'll have to see. We haven't seen any kind of actual gameplay yet, you know, of a full fight. So maybe if they allow us to stream Alpha, then we'll know, right? And we'll start to be able to kind of give our feedback on the game and, and what we think about it. If time to kill isn't high enough, or isn't low enough, rather, I think a lot of people would complain, actually, right? That, oh, I used a sniper, and it takes six shots to kill them. And people would complain, I'm sure, and then it would probably get buffed or whatever, and time to kill would go down, right? Um, so I don't know, I guess we just have to kind of see. Wait and see what kind of game they've made for us. Um, but if they're going to make, like, they've already confirmed that there is going to be an arena for the first-person shooter elements, right? So there will be like a CQC for first-person shooter stuff. So there you go. There's your PvP if you want to go to it, right? Um, I don't know realistically how often you'd see PvP in the actual world, but I hope it's a lot more often than you think, especially in the more populated areas. And that is, that is what I'm really hoping for. hope there's a good variety for the activity you do on foot. Um, I'm sure at the start it'll just be like you know, scanning those brain things you can find on some planets, or scanning uh, bio stuff as well as settlements and things, and going back and forth between settlements. I think we're going to see Thargoids in person, like on on foot, and even Guardians. So I was around the Guardian area just a couple weeks ago, and I noticed. I mean, I, I was the first time I've been there myself, so right, this is all new to me. But uh, in the Guardian sites, there's a door. I mean doesn't go anywhere because it's closed you know but maybe someday we'll be able to go through those doors right into the you know, like as first person in our first person suits oh what is this rescue mission oh this is here this is in this system all right well i'm not doing that <laughs> this doesn't count for what i'm trying to do i'm just gonna keep killing here uh like the missions the factions get 
uh, gets stale after a while. Right, I assume that this is going to be the same way. And that's why, like, I did sign up for the alpha for Odyssey, but I'm not going to... Like, I'll stream it and stuff, but I'm afraid, like... I'm afraid of getting burned out, you know? Of playing the same game over and over, testing stuff. Um, so I'm going to try my best not to get burned out on it, not to do all the different content, uh, but just to kind of understand the mechanics, organize PvP, do things like that, and just have fun with it in that sense, and do crazy things, right? Like, just experiment like crazy. That's what I want to do. And then once the actual game comes in, I'll start doing missions and stuff more. But, um, I agree, it's going to get stale at some point, no matter what. Any game is like that. Um, you know, that's just kind of how it is. Right? Oh, there's a fight. Engines. There we go. Weapons. Shields. Weapons. Engines. Okay. Uh, the only in First Guardian set you went to had big stairs that were a headache with an SRV. Next time I choose, I'll choose a plane site. Yeah, uh, all the stairs there are really annoying. It's almost like they're not meant for humans. You believe it? You know, you're a guardian. You're the architect of the guardians. I just designed some freaking stairs that work for people, right? For this other race that you've never heard of before. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's really buggy anyways when it really shouldn't be. The SRVs just don't work very well on them. I had a very frustrating time uh, going around those sites myself. Um, I just think it's funny, you know? Like, I kind of get it. It's just funny, that's all. It shouldn't be that way. And yet you can come up with some silly story as to why it is that way anyways. I really do love the story in this game. I really do. There's, there's so much to it. Full books and stuff written. It's very cool. Uh, what? Oh, is this the main one? Yeah, this is the main one. Okay. Cobra Mark IV with two wingmen of Mark III's as fighters. Engines. Weapons. No. Where's his friends? I'll go there. My crate should actually be here soon, and then I can actually bring in uh, some fighter pilots. I don't think... I don't think the fighter pilots get credit towards the, um, the community goal, right? Because uh, they, they technically do get those same rewards, but... I really, really doubt that it actually works that way. I'm sure somebody asked that on Google, right? Let's see what Google says. Hold on. Wait. Something around. Here, let's see. Elite Dangerous does multi crew count for community goals. Okay, here we go. How does multi crew work regarding community goals? I can confirm that on a CG such as the one pictured above, you cannot leave the session before ending in bounty vouchers if you earn credit for the CG. To earn rewards, you must sign up as an active participant before handing in bounty vouchers. Um, that doesn't totally answer my question. And people are complaining that it doesn't work, so maybe it doesn't actually. 
Hmm. Oh, re-add the community goals as options in the search. Actually, maybe it does work. That's actually interesting. So this person's asking to have an option here, literally called, um, you know, community goals right here. Um, that would actually make a lot of sense, especially if the like this bounty hunting does count for the you know community goals. That's not bad actually. Hmm. All right, Emma's almost out. What are we at right now? We are at uh, just under three mil. There's not really any other targets here. Okay, is there a way that I can track my ship to see how long it'll take until it gets here? Not really. Yeah, I don't think so. Retract weapons? Uh, retract hard points. That's locked. Engines? back here. We're going to move a little bit away from the ring so we don't accidentally just instantly go right back into it. We did last time. Shields. Reset pips. Also, if you complete these community goals, do you just get two? I don't know the answer to that. If you get twenty, if you get top seventy-five percent for both of these, do you get two of the modules that come out? I'd assume so. I'd assume you'd actually do get two, and I don't think the modules are that crazy. But I didn't do the last one that was really good for planetary scanners, so I may as well just do this one. Request. What? Doesn't work. Landing gear. I like this base though, even though it's not an asteroid base. Um, it's just inside of an asteroid field. I don't know. I've never seen this kind of base before myself. Maybe if you've seen one a lot, then it's uh, not as cool. Uh, you did the last one. It really helps hitting the efficiency target. Oh, do you actually get, um, wait, what are you, what are you referring to? Uh, now I've lost what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, the last, uh, CG or something? Where the last one that actually gives modules. Because the... Oh, you're talking about the planetary scanner, yeah, that's right. So you got the planetary scanner. Did you actually get two if you got 75% uh, or above for both of those? Or maybe it was only one mission at the time, one community goal. Maybe you could only get one. And I think that's what it was. I think it was only one community goal at that time. So maybe we'll see. Maybe we can actually get two of these um, point defense turrets this time. Last community goal, they gave a fully engineered DSS. Yep. Yeah, I missed that one. Oh well, it's okay. I, I was too new to the game anyways around then. Yes, top 75% for discovering Ammonia Worlds, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should have done that, but... Like, now I would have done it. Now I have all the equipment and knowledge to do it. Back then I was still way too new. I didn't understand everything. Um, now I'm like a veteran in my head, in my silly little head. Um, which is absolutely untrue, of course. Alright, when is my crate getting here? Ah, uh, 17 minutes, okay. Alright. Well, we didn't get these two because they're in a different system. But I'm lazy, and we have this. Hooray! How much money have I given to my, uh, my pilot? Hold on. Crew lounge. Oh, only 24 mil, 25 mil. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Whatever, it's fine. I'll just deal with it. I don't care.
landing gear. And yeah. not perfect, but that's cool. Engines. before my ship comes here. Then I can... Oh, don't go in there! Oh my god. Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't seen any other players also farming at this particular extraction site. Considering it's so close to the, the station, you'd think everybody would be here. But again, I don't really understand what the difference between hazardous and high are, because... Oh, you know, hazardous probably has a higher chance for better materials, maybe, in the rocks. Um, but they seem to have the same amount of conflict in actual ships that are flying around. Maybe hazardous zones has more anacondas, though, because I have not seen any anacondas yet in this high zone. Hello, this person scanning me, too. No problem. Uh, with the Mianani run in wing. Four, you can stack missions. You get 200, 300 million credits per hour. Uh, it's fair and you don't exploit any game again. You just maximize your profits through stacking missions. Yeah, we did that with, um... We do that occasionally with, uh, conflict zones as well. Conflict zones are really fun. For that sort of mission stacking and you get them all done, kind of. You know, at the same time. Because everybody just has to hit the same target, you know, once. I'm not surprised. Honestly, if you want to make money in this game, you can, right? There are a lot of ways to do it. You can do so even better inside of a group. I get that. I'm not super, like, crazy about trying to do it at the moment, because I'm not trying to get anything that I can't already reach, you know? I, what do I have? I have 100 mil. Well, that's good enough for me to do anything, you know? So... Eventually, like, if I really want to farm to get a fleet carrier, all right, fine, I'll go and I'll do those things or whatever, and I'll work with other people to try to get that to happen, but um, I think it's fine for them to exist. I don't consider it exploitation or anything, really, because if it was, it would have been removed by now. But the whole point is, A, you're working with other people, right, and you're interacting with other people, which is good. And... And I guess that's it. I mean, that's the whole point, right? They, they want people to work together. Um, it exists in a way that anybody could take advantage of it. It's just a little bit mind-numbing, you know? Because you have to do these things over and over and over again. And it's not that much fun, but... Um, everybody has access to it, so I think it's fine. It's like, in a sense, this game is technically built as a single-player game. So, you know, you can cheat, I guess, or, or whatever. And get ahead... But it doesn't really mean anything, because it's just... It's your own value, right? It's what you value. You're not hurting or changing anybody else's play style by you doing these things. So it's all just for fun. Which I think is good. Honestly, the, the way that Elite... Like... Oh, is he gone? What? Nope. But there's no way I'm catching up to that. It's 6k away. Anyways, the way that Elite has everything structured in this game is really, really cool. Um, with just the way that people can interact with one another, how squadrons work, the, the BGS system, um, you know, the faction war, uh, warfare in power play, the options the players can do to actually do stuff together is awesome. And I think that's the most important thing. Credits or whatever. Credits, you can get them. You can potentially play only in solo mode. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, you could do whatever you want. You could play it as a single-player game. Um, and it's designed that way, to work, either way. So it's it's done really well. I think it's fine. And I'll probably take advantage of those kind of runs later on, but um, they're there for people, and, you know, use them as you see fit. It means not everything is out of reach. You just got to do some stuff to, to, you know, get what you want. Get your 200, 300 million credits if you're looking to experiment with some random different types of ships.
The only thing that's annoying is, to me at least, is um, farming particular materials. But even that, you can, you know, go to specific sites and log in and out constantly to get the materials that you need, right? So there are ways to kind of get around having to go and do mind-numbing tasks uh, constantly. So that's, that's fine. I think that's okay. Nothing really too crazy about it. I, I kind of want to fight anacondas, though, which you're not going to find, I think, in these high-risk zones. Um, this is a gunship that's deadly is actually really good. Oop, I missed it. Alright, we will scan this, for sure. You do them just for fun and play with other commanders. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, like, even if just, you know, you're hanging out in voice with other people or whatever. Or just literally just typing and just chilling. That's great. I, like, social activities is, like, in this game especially, are really, really good. Because you can just kind of chill and do these things. I really did enjoy the conflict zones the most, though, because we were not chill. <laughs> uh, we had a couple players that were, uh, like, the last time that I did it, we had a couple players that are very new, and so we were trying to keep them alive. And um, the squadron leader had, like, a laser that actually healed the shields of other ships, so we did not play it very chill. Which uh, I think was also kind of part of the fun. We could have played it chill, absolutely, but we did not. And, uh, and I enjoyed that actually the most. Have I been to Mitterrand, Hollow, and Epsilon Indy? Nope. I have no idea what that is. What is that? I've never heard of that one before. Is it like a location or something for, uh, for materials, like I was talking about before? Because there, there are quite a few places that I just haven't really been to yet. I still kind of enjoy rolling around with my SRV on the planets uh, for like an hour or two, just collecting stuff. So, you know, I'll do that for a little while until I get bored. Or, or was or are you just mentioning it for some other reason? Imperial Evil Dangerous, okay. It's a thing you must visit. Okay, good. Um, how do I save that? Oh, I should make a list for things to do. I don't know why I haven't started one yet. That's like a given. I, I always do that. Is it inside the bubble, though, or is it really far away? Epsilon Indy sounds like it's inside the bubble. So I'm gonna add this to- Ah! It's fine. <laughs> I'm adding something to the list now, so... I am definitely not paying attention to the game. Let me just stop the ship. Um, elite, dangerous. Dangerous. Learned hollow and epsilon DD. Alright, done. It's on a list now. It's inside the bubble. Oh, that's easy then. I'll just go there. Somewhere. My kitted out um, beluga liner that can go like. I don't know. 60, 70 light years, or 65 light years, I think, on him, or like, when it has no fuel. Um, it's ready. It can do it. No problem. I've taken many trips uh, to all sorts of different places on stream as well. In VR, we went to Black Hole for the first time, and I haven't been to one before. Um, in VR, it's absolutely mind-boggling. And also, I'd never seen a black hole in this game, ever. So I did not know what to expect. That freaked the shit out of me, man. Oh, my god, it's so good. I want to do more things like that. So uh, whatever this trip is, I'll do it in VR. Just because it's more fun that way to, to explore. I still have not come across any Thargoids. Like, my, my character, me, I, I, I know what they look like. Obviously, I've seen them. Um, like, constantly on other people's channels and, and such. Um, I even know enough about how to fight them, but... Uh, I have personally not seen one myself, and I want the first time to see one in VR. Like, I want to be in VR when I see one and just freak the shit out. Like, it just poop my pants. I want that experience, you know? <laughs> so, so we've been in and out of Thargoid space a couple times. In VR, of course. I was ready to poop my pants, but we were never interdicted by one, so... It hasn't happened yet. There's still quite a few things I want to do in this game, but it's definitely one of them. I'm gonna get interdicted. I could definitely try to get myself interdicted on purpose, 
But I think it'd be much more fun if I didn't, you know? If I am instead just like, oh, I'm just going over to Maya because I need to get a meta alloy or something. Oops, this suddenly happens. You know, I want that experience. I don't want the experience of this is what I was hoping for. So I'm looking forward to that someday in VR. Special place, theoretically, it shouldn't exist. Great. Yeah, don't spoil it. I want to know. Like, I want to. I want to experience it myself. Whatever it is, I'm not even gonna look it up. I'm just gonna type it into the galaxy map and then check it out myself. I will do absolutely spoiler-free for whatever the system is. We'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh, I want to build an eagle this weekend, so. I'll be traveling around all over the place anyways, trying to engineer stuff up for the eagle, right? Um, so maybe tomorrow I'll do that. I don't know when the stream will be, because I don't have things scheduled, but I probably will be around the same time, just like in the afternoon. Yeah, I think I'll probably even plan it, actually, put it on that schedule thing. Although I noticed Twitch got rid of the schedule. Like, it's there, but it doesn't show you in the follow list anymore when your, you know, your favorite streamers are going to be streaming next based on their schedule. So I'm kind of disappointed in that. Because I actually used that myself. Like, it was actually really nice to be able to see when people were going to stream next as, like, a little reminder. And that they took that away. But you were, you got interdicted when you were new? Ugh. See, I wish I could have that experience, but now I know too much about the Thargoids. You know, everybody always says, oh, I wish I wish I was new to Elite Dangerous, or I wish I was playing this game for the first time. Because there's so much that you... The experience is the most fun thing in the universe. Um, and, like, I've pretty much ruined it for myself, you know, with, with spoilers and seeing things about the Thargoids. And, I mean, it's been in the news several times, like the actual gamer, you know, PC news things. So it's hard to avoid. The, the sort of things that are happening in Elite Dangerous that are really, really cool. This is an Elite Cobra. He's got a cannon. You can hear it. The cannon's not going to do very much against my shields, though. ship. Alright, back over to the resource site. Uh, it should be almost 17 minutes. I, I think we can probably head back now. Let's do that. Engines. Alright. We can switch over and get uh, a couple of folks in the, in the fighters. I just wish that you could do fighters and uh, and be in a crew at the same time. Because then you could have like a big fleet happening, you know. Not gonna lie, you were about to drop a tear when you heard the message stored at uh, Dad's Hope about what happened in the Thargoids. Oh, you're talking about the, um, uh, are you talking about with the crashed ship um, of, uh, I'm terrible with the names because I didn't play, I actually did play the very, very old Elite, but I don't remember it because I was way too young. So the story and everything is beyond me. But I'm, I'm guessing you're talking about that, though. Uh, Commander, um... Uh, G, uh, I just don't remember. Are you talking about that one, or is there a different one? Oh, there's a different one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we know what we're talking about. <laughs> okay. I want to go there, obviously. Uh, I've read all the history of, of the original Elite games. I, obviously, because I really like lore stuff, right? So I, I try to keep the... Jameson, there we go, yes. You start with the J. Um, I freaking love the lore, so obviously I've been seeing all that and reading a lot of things. I still have yet to visit that place. People use it for material gathering. I may as well do that at the same time. I don't think I'm going to shed a tear. You know, because to me it doesn't mean as much. Um, unless it's really good. Like, I don't know. I haven't heard what the actual logs are. Oh, you know what? It would be really helpful if I had landing gear. <laughs> 
I'm not paying attention. Um, I don't think I'm going to shed a tear unless it's actually that good. Um, so we'll see. I'll do that kind of stuff on stream. I like to do all those like journeys and things on, on stream. Um, what am I doing here? Contact here. Dean. Yeah, Sinister Bear's not feeling too well. She wants Gatorade. I actually might go get her some Gatorade. We'll have to do that later. Maybe like uh, in half an hour or so. Is the stream good, by the way? So, like, there's a lot of things going on, Eric. The last couple of years has been years. <laughs> the last couple of weeks, it feels like years, but the last couple of weeks have been really tough. And the reason is because I got the new card, my computer crashed, I had to reinstall Windows, um, I had to reinstall all the different things, then I just, like, started putting all these things together with voice attack and, and, um... And, you know, with the joystick and programming things, there's a lot going on in the last couple of weeks. So is the stream okay? Like, is the music not that loud? Can you hear me over the stuff happening in the game when we were shooting? Does it seem okay? What do you think from your perspective? Is it okay? Should I be worried about that right now, or is it generally good? Today's the second day I'm streaming in 60 frames per second at 1080p. Um, yesterday was the first day I did that. That was a very wacky stream because uh, NVIDIA broadcast kept screwing up on me. I would actually show myself right now. In fact, let me just turn it on for a little bit. Uh, hold on. All right, there we go. I'm audible again. Cool. Uh, anyways, so this, let's show it off. Hopefully it works. It works. Hello. Oh, it's a little laggy already. Oh, no, we're good. So this NVIDIA broadcast software, which allows me to, to show myself without a green screen, and it doesn't show the background, right? It's using my graphics card in order to actually filter out the background for me, which is great. But there's some bugs in it that cause it to crash, and my whole PC slows down, and it gets really bad. Um, I'd love to use this more often. I hope that they fix those bugs soon enough, because I, I want those issues... Like, I want to use this more often. It's really cool, you know? I don't have a green screen, and yet it just filters out the background. I think it's awesome. But, anyways, um, the ship is here. Let's switch over to that. We really did do perfect timing on this. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say... Uh, storage options. Use the ship. Um... Yeah, I mean, you probably didn't physically cry, right? It's a sad story. And and from what I've seen online, what I've read online, I can see that. I can definitely understand as he's realizing what's going on in the ship and as he's realizing generally what, what his mission is and, and what happened and what he was about to do and, and his demise, I can understand where he's coming from. So, yeah, I do... I've been meaning to go out and see the, or hear the logs for myself. Um... The audio in this game is incredible. The voice acting in this game is incredible too, so I imagine both of those together make it a very meaningful experience that I, I'm, I'm looking forward to. What is this? What is this song? This is in Mass Effect? It is. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Um, so it looks good, everything's good? Okay. Good. Stream is good then. I'm happy. This will eventually, this this video thing where I can turn around and be like, here's chat. Um, this will eventually just screw up the whole thing. <laughs> and then I'll have to turn it off again. Um, but that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. It's um, hopefully someday in video broadcast and the video software, uh, this, this video capture software works a lot better. Um, until then, I'll just deal with it, right? Or I could just have it just show the background. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, but I'm not going to mess with that right now, because it's a whole ordeal in that software. Alright, we're in the crate. So we're good to go. We can, uh... Do I need anything? I might need something. Hold on. I think this ship even has a kill wound scanner. It does. Um, and the two ships are both these ones. 
the very easy to kill <laughs> trident guardian fighters. So, um, we have limpets. I think we're good to go. Multi cannons and beams. Yeah, I think we're fine. I have a shield cell bank too. All right, let's go. This shouldn't be too bad, actually. Um, we're not in a hazardous zone, so we're not going to be fighting anacondas anyways. The worst we might see is a gunship, apparently. I think it'll be fine for the fighter pilots. Last time we went to Dab's Hope, someone sneaked behind you and turned the light on in their SUV. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Oh, that's so funny. So you were in open mode or something? Or, or in, like, a, a private group? Something of that sort? I would never go... Oh. I would never go into that in open mode. I'm too scared of other players just screwing you over. Um, if it's like the, the PvE private group or something, then I get that. Because I'm in the Mobius one right now. You weren't open! Wow, you brave soul. So brave, Eric. I, I don't even know what to tell you. I would never. I'd never risk it. Because, like, if I'm trying to, like... Maybe, maybe if that's the second time you went there, it's not a big deal. If it's the first time I go somewhere, I'm not going to go in open mode. Because I want to experience it, right? I don't want to have to be like, wow, a Thargoid. And then I have to worry about the player more than this giant ship, you know? Um, in fact, what happens if players try to kill each other with a Thargoid around? You have left the no-far zone. Have a safe journey. Has anybody done that before? Like, you're right there. And there's a Thargoid Hydra or something. Or, or a Basilisk or any of them over there and two players are killing each other what does a what does a thargoid do does it help does it stop everything i wonder if that's ever happened before i'm sure it has but what do they do what how do they react to that because <laughs> they don't know right they're just they're a hive mind for them to see two of the same race killing each other makes no sense to them so they would they probably have no idea what to do I'm really curious. Genuinely curious. Huh. Ah, this song is good. You had a bright idea to drop on a non-human signal source and a basically a honey trap for commanders to get killed. <laughs> yeah. I'm so scared of them. Like, I'm, I'm not scared of them. You know, I go into a system and there's freaking 45 non-human signals in every direction. I feel a little uneasy, you know? But knowing that in any direction there's a whole bunch of aliens that if you just go too close to or piss off, they will all just destroy your ship uh, if you're not prepared for it. Uh, it's very fun. All right, let's turn on the... Um, this thing. View for... No. Find crew for bounty hunting. All right, I hope this works. Oh, I didn't even take my person, my, my, my robot -y person. Whatever. It's fine. What are my ship equipments on this? Uh, fuel warrant scanner, beams, multi-cannons, data link, D-scanner, fuel warrant scanner, okay. Okay. Cool. There's fighting happening over here. Um, clean. We're not getting anybody, actually. Viper Master. Okay, okay. So let's just, let's practice. I haven't been in the ship for some time, so I gotta practice a little bit with the uh, key bindings and where everything is. And complete. The very next one is weapons. And I have two buttons for this beam lasers, which are like this, and I have multi-cannons, which are gimbaled. See, these beams kind of lock on, actually. So, like, if I'm close enough, the beams will just... They'll, they'll see, they'll kind of lock onto the ship and start doing damage to it. Um, that's what I... I wonder if the railguns are kind of the same way or not.
So, like, if you're targeting a specific subsystem, the beams will just go to it automatically. See, like, look, if I... Well, maybe not. Maybe they don't. Maybe they just lock onto the ship itself and not onto any particular equipment. That's interesting. This is a deadly python. I just realized that, but it's getting attacked by other uh, allies, so I'm not too worried. By the way, my auto cannons on the ship that aren't corrosive, um, the, the one that isn't corrosive, essentially, and same with the other one. Um, I just four multi cannons with auto reload. Because I, I do like the auto reloading uh, a lot better. So one corrosion or corrosive uh, experimental thing, and everything else is auto reload. Two, and then I can. Mm, not the button I wanted to press, okay. It's fine. Shields. Reset those. And this is a gunship that's deadly. Um, uh, let's... Let's make sure that we are targeting the right thing. Power plant. Wait, he just used the freaking shield cell too. And we're not getting anybody. Hmm. Multi-crew disband. What happened? Oh. Um... Hold on. Find crew. Bounty hunting. Maybe resetting it will work? I don't know. Yeah, it's got shafts. I don't know if I want to fight this target right now. And it's a gunship. So, like, if I did get fighters, it would just instantly kill them. But there are a lot of allies killing it. Look at this. Alright, let's do it. As soon as the chaff is gone, I'm going to try to kill it. Also, I have beams. Why don't, why don't I just attack it? I can kill the shields quickest, anyways. Okay, that's gonna screw me over. I have to retarget the subsystem now. I feel like I'm mining it. Which I guess I pretty much am, huh? Oh my god, look at that thing. Oh, that tore apart so nicely. I don't think I've ever seen a ship tear apart better than that one. So nice. So brilliant. So brilliant looking. Alright, next target. Already forgotten about that. Hey, we're not getting anybody, actually. Look. Hmm. Maybe it's bugged. Maybe people can't get in. There's not anybody else doing this. Find crew. Bounty hunting. Hmm. Maybe nobody's looking for a group right now. It's possible. Wait, that's an anaconda. Oh no, that's a... Yeah, I think it was. But it's not a player one, it's a... It's a system patrol anaconda. Alright, Asp Scout. I need to kill with beams first. Oops, shields are down. What's the point of having fighters if I'm not even using them, right? Uh Most fun way to material manufactured mats. Alright, hold on, I'm just kill this. That's already dead. Okay, we're good. 
Uh, it's this. It has uh, res, you get pythons, cutters, condas more often. Yeah, those are the ones that I... See, I'm in these res sites so often that I pretty much have those materials. But I agree, it is good. What I really want to find more of is type 10s. <laughs> type 9s, type 10s, type 7s, type 6s. You just don't find those anywhere. It's really hard to find wanted uh, of, of those particular types of ships. Um, but yeah, for everything else, it's great. I, I do like the res sites for just collecting materials that you need. But I do it so much anyways that uh, it's not a big deal to me. And I always just farm more if I need to. Because I, I like these res sites a lot. Hello. Kill warrant scanner. Oh, it works through rocks? You can use the kill warrant scanner through a rock. That's interesting. Didn't know that. Okay. I'm gonna get its attention. Shield's dead. Oh, it turned around. I didn't even realize that. I don't know what's going on with multi crew. Oh, it is a champ. Point eight. Simon Pickles is this NPC's name. Mr. Pickles. time bouncy hunting we found two heavily engineered type tens absolute units but they are rare yep um what did i do to find them myself i can't remember i found one type 10 before um and i think it was in a res site actually too yeah i want to say it was in a res site pretty sure because i remember there being a bunch of asteroids around and i was killing it too i mean it was recent i remember all these things Everything that I've done has been recent, because I only started playing, like, you know, fully, like, a couple months ago now. You had a bad time with your half ass chieftain? All kinds of modules, man, function, but it was, a, uh... Yeah, I didn't have that much fun. To me, it was just, alright, let's kill it, and it just died, because, uh, the freaking five multi-cannons just tear absolutely everything up, especially when you're focusing down, uh, particular, um, subsystems. But I want those. I want those experiences more. I want the the. Oh, this was a tough fight. I only got out by the skin of my teeth, or whatever that phrase is. You know, I want those fights more often, and that's kind of why I want to like. You know, I want to make an eagle and, and challenge myself because those are a lot more fun experiences. Honestly, I need to do them more often. This PVE ship, even this one. I mean, this one's meant for fighters, obviously, but. Um, they're fun, they get the job done, but they're just not as interesting, you know? You don't get as many interesting stories out of them. Um, I gotta put myself in those situations more often. Way more fun. Like, even if you die, whatever. It's fun, right? It's... Okay, whatever. You pay... As long as you can cover the fee, you're all good. It's okay. I like that there's, a, pretty much a small fee, uh, to your ship dying. Means you can do more experimental stuff and just enjoy the game. It's amazing. It's so good. What we got. Yeah, I have these already. Wait a minute. Yeah, we're good. Gosh, there's so much stuff just littered all over the place. What we got over there? These two are fighting. But there's nobody going into the multi crew. Why? Oh, I'm not an open. I'm in the Mobius thing. <laughs> if I was an open, I could find a crew. If I was an open in this particular area, someone would kill me. Oh my god, I have a 9 million rebuy cost? Right, that's like 10% of what I'm worth right now. Do we do it? 
Do I go into open? There's too many gankers, man. There's too many people in this particular system that are just trying to kill other people. Free side went here. But they're already all over the place. This isn't the ship for it, I don't think. What is this? Okay. Ah. Good reason to not die. I mean, I'm okay with loot. Like, you can always get money back, right? Do I want to even do that? Okay, how about this? I don't know how this works, but apparently this is a thing. So I can launch my own fighter and the ship will just follow me? Is that real? Is this true? The ship will just be an AI? Follow me. Hold on. Unmanned orders. Oh. Command orders not available. I think I still need to have a pilot there. You may switch roles with the pilot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So that won't work. That's not how that works. I need to have a, um... Okay. I need to have a dude. Let me get my dude. I don't want to play an open. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Like it's it's a community goal. Everybody's here. People are ganking. I don't want to do it. It's too scary. I think the fact that I'm in this private group in the Mobius private group, there is actually some non-zero chance that a player will join, because um, there's what seven thousand people in this group for the Americas one. God, I thought that was me on the left side. I don't even know why. <laughs> I have no merit to thinking that. Okay. Whatever. Let's do this. We're gonna we're gonna get my dude. We're gonna turn on. Uh, we're gonna turn on find crew. We're just gonna leave that on. Oh my god. You confronted with pirate runs. Human pirate. You started shooting me at a uh, Hazrez, and later you recognized him at the station. You said he did it for fun, and that it's a pretty and that. It was a valid place though. It is. I mean It's not not a valid place to kill. I mean you can gank people. It's just if there's no actual goal out of it, then it doesn't make sense roleplay wise, right? A lot of people don't care about roleplay. And you know, even myself I'm kinda like I, I do like roleplay in D and D sense and and LARP is awesome. I haven't done that myself, but these kind of things are cool. Um Personally, I get it. I understand. It exists. You can go around killing random people. You're essentially a mass murderer, you know? There's no backstory as to why, unless you've for some reason given yourself one. Um, but, I don't know. It's a weird situation. It's a thing, though. I mean, people can do it, right? Um, you feel like the uncertainty of getting ganked or attacked by pirates adds to the fun of open play. I think so, too if you're okay with it, right? Um, if I'm carrying a ton of goods and there's a high rebuy cost or whatever, and obviously you play in a safer way, right? You deal with the NPC pirates that are there to do the actual same thing, except the NPC pirates are smarter and have other little things to them, right? You can actually give some of your cargo away so that they don't kill you. Those are the kind of things that I wish you could have as interactions with players, but not everybody does that, right? Not everybody, some players actually do. You know, they'll actually type out to you a private message or whatever saying, hey, drop your cargo or we're going to kill you. But most people don't. Um, ganked without reason, it just sucks, right? It doesn't feel right for a game of this style where there's so much going on and you can roleplay a situation like that much better. Um, but it happens. You can do it with the Maybe I should just do arena for a little bit. Um, what is my... 
What is my stat? Hey, we got to tier 2. 12 mil. Hmm. I mean, it's not that much. Right? I, I can go and do a couple missions and get 12 mil. I just want the module. Uh, there are people who just like to watch the world burn. Yep. You'll find that in every game. You'll find that in every park. Literally. You just go outside. Just jerks all over the place. You just have to deal with it at this point. Like, it doesn't bother me. I, I totally understand that some people are just jerks. I think it's fine. They're doing it to escape their other problems. Or, or just, you know, de-stress in some weird way that I don't quite understand myself. It's okay. It's fine. Just can't let it bother you. Though at the same time, I don't really have very much reason to go to open play unless I actually do want to PvP, which is generally why people go to open play, right? Um, but I like this Mobius group. Like, I'm in a group right now, the private group with 7,000 people, and I can actually see other players. There's one right there. Who's allied? What? How is that possible? How can, how can another player be green to me? I want to know, actually. How, how would I find him? Can I go to contacts? Um... Wait, how do I... Okay, let's just do this and undock, I think. How can another player be green to me? Auto-watch. Contacts. Scan required. Um... What is that? It's a python. Squad. Oh my god, he's in my squadron! Am I playing in the- wait, 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 wait. Am I actually in the right... mode? Oh shit. Maybe I'm not in the right mode. Maybe I'm actually in my- my squadron's, uh... private group. Crap, maybe that's why we're not getting anybody. No, but we did see some other people earlier. Maybe he's just also in the Mobius. <laughs> okay, never mind. I think that's actually what it is. He's in the Mobius group, like I am. Can I see it somehow? It just says private group session. It doesn't say... Uh... Oh. I guess he's just in the same one. Okay, cool. I mean, I know it's popular, but I didn't think somebody from my own... Uh... Squadron would be in it. Alright. Small world. Not that it's that small, everybody's in this location, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but... I am surprised. I'm actually genuinely surprised. Okay, don't hit that. We're not going right back in there. We are going over to this res site. And, um... Yeah, I think it is totally possible, right? Yeah. 7,000 people. 7,000 people. It's a lot of people. Yeah. Just happens to be in the same guild or same squad. Huh. Alright, I want to see how this works. So if I launch a fighter now, deploy. No! <laughs> I immediately fucked up. Okay, okay, hold on. Um, what is the command for voice attack to do these things that I want to do with fighters? No, no, I need you to redock. I wish that was the command in voice attack. I need you to redock. That would be so funny. Because that's like a normal sentence. Uh, what do I have it programmed for? I can't find it in this list. Fighter. Um, request fighter dock. Request fighter dock. Yes, Commander. Returning to docking bay now. Wow. I'm just using Malik's stuff. I'm using Commander Malik's uh, profile, and I've been doing twists and turns all over this to do crazy things. Is it docked? Okay. 
All right, so now let's do this. And now deploy. Wait, I can't, I can't deploy myself. Hold on a second. Enter row. Okay, what if I do, what if I have her deploy? And then, and then I switch spots. Switch. Oh, it, we can't because of multi-crew. Ah. Okay, well, that's not going to happen. Fine. Disband. Get rid of this message. Um, switch to fighter. Okay. And now I can order it around. Aha. I can't have it follow me. It will just... Okay, fine. Whatever. So... Okay, now I'm in the fighter. Classified camera. Yeah, boy. Classified camera. So, is the ship following me? Yes, yes it is. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Alright, let's do this. Let's have some fun. Here's a scout, master. I think that's fine. It's going after an eagle that's competent. What? Oh, I want to go for this one. This is going to be easier. This is essentially a fighter. Oh, and they're both going after something else. Alright, here we go. Attack my target. Attack my target. Shoot it. I don't remember what the actual command is. What? No, no. Shoot that. What is the command for it? I don't even know. Let me look it up. I want to get better at the ship so bad. Ah. Oh, well, now it's just standing still. That's too easy. Shoot my target. I don't know what the command is through voice attack. Temperature critical. That's fine. Uh, let's just have it do this, right? Affirmative. I see the target, Commander. Did it just kill it instantly? Alright, alright. Let's start it. Alright, let me look up that thing. Hold on. Um... Oh, true. Okay, I need, I need to be done streaming in like five minutes. I want to do one more thing, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna head off. I want to try this. It's cool. Um... Okay. Fighter. And we're gonna do... Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. All right, let's do this. Ooh. We're gonna find an enemy target. Wait, is that me? Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, it's just a, my squadron, so... <laughs> I don't know if that was me or somebody else. All right, um... Here's an eagle. An imperial eagle. It's a little bit tougher. And it doesn't have shields. Shoot at them. Yes, Commander. Focusing fire now. Oh, hey, 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 it works. Okay. There's another one. This should be a part of it, too. Let's see. Oh, it's a wing of three. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. Let's just die to these. That's so stupid, right? I shouldn't do that. It's an elite! It's a part of the same wing! Oh, I'm so glad I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, um, I think it's a player. No, it's not a player. I, You can give him different commands, yeah. I know, but I'm doing it all through voice attack instead of just through like the numpad here, so I'm, I'm a little bit giddy and excited to do this. Um, I just want to find one target. Just one target. That's not a target. There's a wing of three. Is there any... Is there any fighting anywhere? What is this? It's just another dude. Okay. I love this fighter so much. Um, how do I target my friend? I guess there's no quick thing for that. To target me. 
My ship is kind of following, though. It's, it's getting there. Um... I want one more fight. One more thing. What can I find? It's just keelbacks. There's just mining ships. And then there's, of course, the, uh... The three in a wing. Cobra, hold on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Damn it. Come on. Ugh. Ooh, what is this? A Diamondback Explorer? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Shoot them. I want to see my ship. What's doing it? That's the beans! <laughs> That's so cool! It's terrible though. Look at that aiming. Ugh, gosh. Oh boy. I hope no one, no one's watching me. I hope no one's seeing this, like, you know, a bystander seeing the uh, ship just aiming horribly. Tell me that the mother ship is attacked. Oh, it is. It does say that the mother ship is under attack. It's just not telling me vocally. damage does my ship take? Oh, a little bit of shields. Nice! That's great! That's so cool! Request dock. Request dock. Uh, uh, cool. I gotta get used to these commands. I just wanna know. Uh, fighter. Request, no. Docking. Much easier. Nice. That's alright, I'm heading out anyways. Thanks for stopping by, Eric. Appreciate that. Have a good one, man. Alright, let's get out of here. Engines. God, it feels good to use voice attack for stuff. Oh, man. It is a lot of fun. Especially with the music playing in the background. Ugh. did it. We had a full stream where uh, things just didn't go wrong. So that's great. Um, and even ever since I turned, you know, the, the camera back on, it hasn't, like, failed or anything yet. Of course, I just jinxed it, so it'll probably happen in, like, the next minute. But um, I'm still gonna count that as a win. This has been pretty good. Finally, things are starting to become stable with the stream, and, and everything's kind of coming together. Um... It's an enjoyable experience here. Yeah. This, this thing likes to bug out, though. Okay. Alright. Cool. We'll let Auto Doctor take care of that. And then I'm gonna go and get some Gatorade for uh, Sinister Berry. To hopefully help calm her uh, stomach down. Should be fine. That's what I always did as a kid, too. As a kid, or just in general, Gatorade Sprite, I think, also helps uh, with, like, stomach issues and such, so... 
Oh, look at that go. Also, we have Chipotle, which was ordered and we still haven't eaten it, so I, I gotta go eat something. This is so cool. I really love these fighters. I, I love doing all this, like, the fighter combat and stuff. Um, I want to do this more often. It's a lot of fun. Alright. Where are we in the rankings for this uh, community goal? Are we still top 25%? I would say we most likely we are. Um, anything to turn in here? Ooh. Fines and bounties. That's... This is an empire space. And it doesn't matter, because this is a... Um, uh, a dude, so it wouldn't have put me into jail. So we're good. Um, mission board. Okay. Protect. Top 25%. Alright, good. Cool. Made a lot of progress with this. 15 million credits earned. Out of the 16 billion that has been earned. Oh, man. Alright, I'm done. And no, uh, for anybody that was stopping by today, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to do some more streaming this weekend. I'm going to do stuff in an eagle, try to actually outfit an eagle properly with like engineered equipment and stuff. So I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of that and flying a bit more in VR as well. We're going to try that tomorrow. Things are starting to become stable with the stream, so I'm very happy about that. Um, I think that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Good day.